Onigiri, also known as omusubi, is a Japanese food made by shaping rice into triangles, cylinders, or other forms, and wrapping it with nori seaweed. It often contains sour or salty ingredients such as pickled plums, kelp, or salted salmon inside the white rice. Due to its portability and the ability to be eaten by hand, onigiri has been cherished in Japan for a long time, serving as a convenient snack and bento option to this day. Prepare the fillings for the onigiri. This time, I'm using tuna mayo, bonito flakes, and kelp. Just mix the tuna with mayonnaise. Simple, but delicious. It might be a good idea to drain the water from the tuna before adding the mayonnaise. Just mix soy sauce with bonito flakes. This is also delicious. If you don't have an aversion to MSG, adding a small amount can make it even tastier. If you have a cat, please be extra cautious when cooking. Cats love bonito flakes. I wash my hands thoroughly with water, instead of using alcohol disinfectant. If cooking rice proves to be challenging, it's perfectly fine to use cooked white rice like this. Wet your hands and sprinkle about half a teaspoon of salt onto your palm, then use your palm to create a saline solution. Take the amount of rice you want for the size of onigiri you want to make, being careful as it's hot and can cause burns. Shape it with your hands into a triangle. Use your right hand to form the base of the triangle and your left hand to shape the two equal sides. Occasionally, press it down to adjust the thickness of the onigiri. If the filling has a mild flavor, it's also fine to place the filling between the rice and shape it into a triangle. However, this time, since the filling has a stronger taste, I'm making a hole in the middle of the onigiri. You can choose to showcase the filling without hiding it, or you can cover it with rice or wrap it in nori. Wrap it with cut roasted nori. You can wrap it all around or it's also fine not to use nori at all. Thank you for watching. 